Pier 39 is one of San Francisco's most famous and most iconic attractions. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through Pier 39 so you can see what's here at the restaurants, the shops, the attractions, and of course, the famous seals and sea lions. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what I can see. And we are starting the walk up on the second floor of Pier 39. This is a two-story pier that is in the Fisherman's Wharf neighborhood of San Francisco. Now, if you're interested in seeing more about Fisherman's Wharf, I've got a whole walking tour video that'll take you from the cable car turnaround by Ghirardelli Square, and it'll bring you right here to Pier 39. So when you're done with this one, you can check that one out. Now, there's a little neat area where we can come down here and see the lower level of Pier 39. You can see this looks out to the San Francisco Bay. You can get Nathan's hot dogs that are down there. Just off in the distance on the street, you can see one of San Francisco's iconic streetcars that I'm gonna zoom in on right there with the Pier 39 flags. There are a bunch of restaurants that are down there on the ground floor that we will walk by in a little bit. And over here, Aquarium of the Bay, a Lids hat shop, uh, and the Alcatraz gift shop. Are we near Alcatraz? You know what? We are near Alcatraz. The ferries from Alcatraz go out from Pier 33, which is just down the way from Pier 39, and you'll be able to see Alcatraz off in the distance when we get by the seals and sea lions. Up here on the second floor is an eating area for the restaurant that's up here. These are spots with awesome views, I must say. Like, this is a cool place to eat. I feel like these are new since COVID. I don't remember this little eating area up here. It's been a couple years since I've been to the city, and so it's neat to explore this along with you. Uh, some gift shops up here called Only in San Francisco. Fisherman's Wharf is the touristy capital of San Francisco, so there are more gift shops here per capita or per store than anywhere else. Uh, this restaurant, the Crab House at Pier 39, super cute looking restaurant. Take a look at this. This is a super neat place to eat crab. I can't vouch for how tasty it is, but the setting sure is neat. Uh, all right, and I wanna show you the map here so you can just kinda see a little bit what's, uh, what's here. There's the spice and tea exchange where you can get also tea to take home, but hot and cold teas. And so we've been walking up here on the second floor of this, down here at the ground floor. There's a carousel in the middle, which I think uh, we can see just the, the tippy top of it right back here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drop down to the ground floor because, well, unfortunately, a lot of things up here on the second floor have gone out of business. Uh, there's a mirror maze for the kiddos, but it also looks fairly closed and out of business. This seems to be a theme in my San Francisco series right now, is that many stores and restaurants uh, have just gone the way of the dodo due to the pandemic and lack of tourists in San Francisco. Now, you might be wondering, Chris, how safe is it really to visit San Francisco right now? And I don't mean safe from COVID, I mean safe from the city and things like that. Oh, Hi we there. Want you. Can I just say, yeah. we watch you on we watch the you Oh, right on. Oh, oh very cool. On San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. This is why we come here because you recommend it. That was super cool. It, so yeah. Did, did you like Pier 39? Yeah. We did, did you see we the seals? Yeah. yeah. Where yeah. are you from? Manchester. 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 All right. Very good. What's your name? Jay. Yeah, all right. Linda. Linda. Great to meet you both. You'll be in my video that's a Pier 39 walkthrough. Oh, so, you. yeah, that sounds good. Look for it in a few weeks. So, enjoy the rest of your trip. Thanks for saying hey. I appreciate it. All right. It's always great to see my fellow explorers. And uh, if you couldn't hear what they said, they said they came here because they watched my video on San Francisco that recommended Pier 39. And I think it's a pretty neat place. There are some people that are down on this place because they're like, it is too touristy, it's too manufactured. But like, how many two-story piers have you been to that also have two-story carousels on them that also have seals and sea lions and that you can get a view of Alcatraz? I feel like it is something that you have to see when you come to San Francisco. And if you need to use the restroom, they have good, clean restrooms here. So there's four of them throughout the pier that you can see right there. The carousel, if the traveling princess was here, she would love riding this. $7 a ride, but boy, how many carousels have a second story? 
Now, I'm sure there's gonna be some of you that'll be like, Chris, I know where okay. there's a great carousel that has a second story on it. If, if you know of another one, let me know in the comments. I have never seen a two-story carousel except for this one right here. All right, so uh, right past that carousel is where you're gonna wanna turn left and then go through these red doors to see the seals of the sea lions. I feel like they kind of they kind of keep this hidden because they don't. You know, the mall would really prefer that you stay out in the mall shop instead of by the sea lions. It's gonna be windy as we go back here, but you can see this is where the seals and the sea lions hang out right back there. I'm gonna get closer to them, and uh, apologies if the sound is less than awesome. Now it is quite a windy day. This is where everybody comes out here to see them. There's uh, seats where you can sit. We're gonna kind of come here in the middle and take a look at these guys. Now there's a bunch of these platforms where on like a busy day of the seals and sea lions, these will be entirely full of them. Right now it's like 3.30 on a Tuesday. I, I don't know if they work or don't work. Probably, probably they don't work ever. Uh, so it doesn't really matter what day of the week it is, but they seem to all just be sleeping right now. If you uh, come sometimes, maybe mating season, they'll be fighting, they'll be really noisy. They're quite docile today, um, but just a, just a super neat thing to come and see these natural animals in what they've taken over as their wild habitat right here. And then here is also a great view you probably just see the silhouette of it right now of the hills of San Francisco. And then if we look over this way, you can see the Coit Tower right up here and the Transamerica Pyramid in the Financial Center just back that way. And then just at the end of the pier, this way is where you get some great views of Alcatraz. Uh, down through all these people that we'll go to right at the end where they have all the locks and then we'll work our way back through the shopping center. This guy has a really impressive lens on his camera. Probably now you can't see anymore, but yeah, we'll I swing saw, by this it. way. Yeah, that's, a, that's a big lens. He's taking pictures of the birds, which I am not. I am shooting this video on a really unimpressive saying Samsung Galaxy S. 21 Ultra, and we'll zoom in and see Alcatraz right there. Alcatraz Island, the unescapable prison, as far as anybody knows. And then, oh, when you turn left here is where you'll get your view of the Golden Gate Bridge way back in the distance there. Now, if you are coming to San Francisco, I, I often call it the Windy City because it's quite windy. You'll notice here in April, spring break, most people go to like warm places for spring break. Uh, bring, bring some long sleeves and bring a jacket because you are going to want it, I will say. All right, so let's go ahead and turn back right and then walk the bottom of Pier 39 that uh, we didn't get to see that much of because we walked on the top deck the whole way this way. Uh, now, the two fellow explorers that we saw earlier, they said they watched my video in San Francisco. If you haven't seen that one yet, I got a whole travel guide in San Francisco about things to know, what airports you should go into, how to get around, how to take public transportation, where to stay. You'll find a link to that uh, in the description or at the end of this video. Now, right behind the carousel is a little stage where they do uh, like magic shows and juggling shows. Next show today, four o'clock, that's in 30 minutes. 7D ride experiences, so like virtual reality, those sorts of things. Uh, restrooms with a little uh, small video arcade are just back here. And uh, if you've previously watched my video on just Fisherman's Wharf in general, you'll have known that the main street of Fisherman's Wharf today was really quite empty. There weren't many people walking around there today, but there are quite a lot of people here, although in busy season, there would be, you know, five times more people here than this today, um, if it, you know, wasn't the pandemic or before the pandemic. Right here is Lefty's, San Francisco's left-hand store. So if you've got some friends that are left-handed, well, pick them up some souvenirs from San Francisco's left-hand store at Lefty's. San Diego, where I'm from, there's a pizza place called Lefty's. 
Maybe, I don't know, do you have to eat the pizza with your left hand? I've never really asked them. The San Francisco sock market. Pick up some socks, pick up some magnets. I always bring back magnets from places that I go, but only once. Um, so, and my rule is that the magnets I get have to have the name of the place. So unfortunately, the banana magnet would not be eligible for my refrigerator. Uh, sunglass hut here, if you forgot your sunglasses, even though San Francisco is cold, when it's not foggy, it can be quite windy. Uh, here's a kind of cool restaurant called the Pier Market that you can see them cooking up the seafood right here in the window on this big circular grill. It smells good. And then uh, you can see they've also, uh, you can just like look and see what they have. They got fish and chips, chicken tenders, crab sandwiches. Oh, pretty good looking, I must say. And lots of outdoor seating, new feature of the pandemic. Uh, pretty much all the restaurants I've seen around here, Fisherman's Wharf, that managed to hang on and stay in business uh, have new and more outdoor seating. There's the Crepe Cafe, you can get crepes. There's Houdini's Magic Shop, which I always have to stop and see Zoltar. Uh, in Piers, California Piers, Zoltar is famous. You give Zoltar a dollar and Zoltar will read your fortune. If you're looking to take a picture of Pier 39, best place to do it are those second story bridges that you saw me walking on. That's a great spot to get a selfie from up high. There's the shell seller. If you're a shell collector, you can get shells right there or you can become a shell collector and get your first shell. Oh, this is, it's a chocolate store with a big cow in it. Look at that big cow right there. Unfortunately, look at just how empty the store is. It smelled good, it smelled like really good chocolate. It's empty because there still just aren't that many people visiting uh, Fisherman's Wharf. April 2022 is when this video was recorded. There's the bungee trampolines back here. There's the cruise ship terminal. So cruise ships dock just next to this. So if you came on a cruise, this is like the closest place to, you know, go to eat in a restaurant and maybe get some Mrs. Fields cookies. If you um, didn't take the cruise ship and you're not taking public transportation, then Pier 39 has its own big parking structure that you can actually see uh, it's just kind of like behind these flags and to the right. It's expensive if you just turn up and park there. Um, but as of the date that I made this video, they were offering all day parking for $20 if you booked it online before you come. So pro tip if that's where you want to park. And uh, then they got some pier tickets and information. And that brings us to the end of Pier 39. If you want to see more about Fisherman's Wharf, you can watch my video on that right here. If you just want to see more about San Francisco, you can click right here to watch my San Francisco travel guide. More links in the description below. As usual, fellow explorers, I want to say goodbye because I'll see you in one of these videos.